Over the past 12 months, there has been absolute carnage in the US stock market when it comes to electric vehicle startups. Two companies have just filed for bankruptcy in the United States. Lordstown Motors and Proterra. Arrival, Canoe, Faraday Future and Workhorse are all trading below the standard $1 minimum listing requirement with a liquidity and free cash burn dynamic that's unable to sustain more than one year of operations. Fisker is in the exact same position. Its stock price has plummeted to 86 cents from a high of $28.50 only two years ago. Fisker is collapsing because the market is extrapolating current free cash burn against its existing liquidity to price in the probability of the type of liquidity gap that disrupted the fates of Lordstown and Proterra. Fisker's free cash burn of $339 million during the third quarter was a sequential deterioration from a cash burn of $220 million in the previous quarter. Critically, the company just does not have enough cash to sustain more than three quarters of operations against its current cash burn rate. And considering its vehicle deliveries have now slowed into the single digits per day, the company's future is looking incredibly bleak. Fisker's stock has fallen 88% versus its highs last year. However, there is now a class action lawsuit against the company for false reporting, a range of claims by investors that they've been defrauded. Fisker's stock price continues to fall, and now an analyst, major analyst, has downgraded the stock by an additional 90%. It appears as though my original predictions that Fisker would end a bankruptcy at some point this year are tracking correctly. Yeah, this is a really more of a warning video. Don't invest. You cannot catch a falling knife. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. I know there's a lot of a lot of investors thinking, hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, this stock price here has collapsed. It's down nearly 90% now. Maybe this is an opportunity to have a quick rebound. Fiscal will somehow find a, a miraculous way out of its current troubles. Somehow someone will bail them out, give them a bunch of cash. I don't see that happening. It's more likely Lordstown Motors. We will see that play out over again with Fisker entering bankruptcy likely in the third or fourth quarter this year as its cash supplies continue to run out. This is a really sad situation. There's a lot of employees being affected here. There's a lot of investors here have lost literally billions of dollars. But my warning here is don't think you're smarter than everyone else. Well, I don't think you should do that anyway. This is not a situation where you're going to make a quick buck, jump in, and all of a sudden the stock's going to spike back up. It's the truth here is this. Fisker has been lying about deliveries. They've been lying about the company. Here is the actual information. That's come from the gross law firm. They have issued a notice to Fisker shareholders who purchased shares between August the 4th and November 20th of last year, encouraging them to contact the firm regarding lead plaintiff appointment. There will be a class action lawsuit against Fisker. FSR or Fisker is accused of making false statements in its financial reporting, erroneously accounting for certain costs, delaying its quarterly report and limiting its production. It is privately shared uh, with staff that its sales now have hit single digits per day. It sales single digit delivery, single digits per day. There's a lot of concern that people, if they buy a Fisker car, it will be orphaned. I mean, for example, let's say you went and bought one of these cars, the company goes bankrupt, what do you do when there's a problem? Now, speaking of problems, you might be thinking, well, it'll be fine, you know, surely there won't be any major problems. Actually, there already is. Fisker is facing an NHTSA probe over the ocean crossover breaking complaints, and the startup has received numerous complaints alleging loss of braking power over low traction or bumpy roads, meaning they're facing a probe by US regulators. And there's apparently numerous other complaints as well to do with software problems, to do with screens shutting themselves down. The regulator's Office of Defects investigation opened a preliminary evaluation to determine the scope of the potential problem and to fully assess the potential safety-related issues, said the NHTSA. The complaints allege a partial loss of braking over low traction services without alerting the driver, said the NHTSA. This results in a sudden increase in stopping distance. Some complaints said the ocean may exhibit a loss of blended braking function, a reference to an EV's use of traditional brakes in unison with regen braking. Fisker 
have declined to comment. They haven't said they're gonna fix it, they've just declined to comment. That is also a red flag in my opinion. This probe comps after Fisker struggles with sales and distribution of its only electric car, the Ocean, and a recently announced plan to abandon its direct-to-consumer sales model in the US in favor of recruiting franchise dealers instead. The Ocean is a very affordable car. What this means, if Fisker does sell through franchise dealers, there's yet another middleman. So Fisker will be making less money, as in losing more money on every electric car they sell. They already make a loss on every EV they sell. However, those losses will simply increase. Fisker's cash pile continues to go down. Now, it doesn't have a way out because every EV it sells, um, it makes a loss. So in theory, you would think, well, sell more cars, we can fix the problem. But unfortunately, it's just gonna make the problem worse. Fisker said on the 29th of December that it produced 10,142 ocean crossovers for global markets in 2023 at a contract manufacturing plant in Graz, Austria. So what that means is they don't even make the cars themselves. A contract manufacturer called Magnesteer makes the cars for them. Magnesteer also makes the Jaguar I-Pace, which is an old car, very dated, doesn't sell, it's virtually a dead vehicle now. And that is also another issue because Fisker now have two middlemen. They have to pay the contract manufacturer. They wanna make a profit on their manufacturing. Then they have to pay the dealership and they make a loss on every EV anyway. The automaker said this month it is targeting 50 dealerships in the US. Here's the thing though. It produced 10,142 crossovers in Europe, but it has only delivered 4,700. If it's only delivered 4,700 in 2023, but it's produced double that number, clearly the big problem here is demand and Fisker has evidently been lying about its demand. It is said it has pre-orders for more than 40,000 vehicles, but for some reason, it delivered only 46% of the vehicles it has sitting in inventory. That is clearly an issue. This is like a Hindenburg report scenario where you're gonna probably see people come out of the works here and start accusing Fisker of making some very dishonest claims. Following the announcement of its new sales strategy, Fisker's battered stock price fell further. Its stock fell, closed at 103 on Friday last week, then it fell a further 37%. Fisker's stock is now down by over 90% as of the time of this video, which is the 18th of January, 2024. Well, after these breaking complaints, Fisker's stock has been downgraded a further 90%. I believe, unfortunately, this company doesn't have long left to live. And the reason for this video is simply to warn people. I don't like it when I see people investing. A lot of people here, I know a lot of people have done things like this. They've sold their houses. They've invested their entire, um, basically, life savings into electric car companies. They think this is the next Tesla. They think this company is going to be the next Tesla. And they're going to make a fortune. They lose everything. I just don't want that to happen because that can still happen. People can still jump in here and invest now and think, hey, it's at its lowest point. It's going to jump up again. That, in my opinion, is extremely unlikely. Thank you for watching.